everyone. Uh, today we got a little bit of rain in Mesa, Arizona. And I'm out and about. And normally, I uh, on Saturday and Sundays, I usually like to go and to some yard sales. So today, um, it wasn't a planned thing. I went and got my shingles shot and I went and got my flu shot and I just ate something and I'm gonna go out for maybe about 30 minutes to see if I can find some random yard sale I didn't plan for. So I'm gonna take you with me but I'm gonna pause this while I drive. Okay, so let's see. I see um, something for people to vote. Now when I go down this street normally, on the days that I don't plan on going to yard sales, there's signs popping up everywhere. I went to, um, the when I worked at Savers in the past, I um, I purchased some random items, odds and ends, and the majority of the stuff I picked up I've already sold, and I was hanging on to this Tiffany bracelet that I had picked up, and I listed it last week. So with that being said, I um, listed it and I put it on auction and originally I started it off at 80 something dollars and I was like you know what Let, let's see how many people actually come to this and want to want it so I lowered it to $24 I did put a small reserve on it aha I found a yard sale okay so I'm gonna turn around and go to that and let me get in line and my auction ended last night and so before fees and everything um, that item sold for a beautiful hundred and one dollars including shipping now after my fees and after my taxes and my label are taken out it's about 75 buckaroonies so I would say that's not too bad on a nine dollar purchase so it was definitely worth my time so let's see if I can find this place uh, I found I'm only gonna give myself two yard sales if if that it depends on how I feel um, where did I see that box over here okay I'm gonna pause it for now when you see cats in the road do not run them over slow down yield karma is instant so <laughs> uh, not joking you know it can it can hurt you and it can definitely hurt the animal so be wary of any cats dogs people crossing the road okay not seeing the signs what if it was an old sign I don't know so back there I saw the sign on the on the post but the sign was upside down so <laughs> and it was pointing the other direction that I just came from yeah and with the it's sprinkling and raining uh, and uh, I don't know I think I'm just going in a great big circle <laughs> So the rain's really pleasant. The weather is perfect. It's gorgeous. Um, I'm just gonna talk and record and I'm not really randomly pointing my camera anywhere. I'm just have a recording. So forgive me if it's not perfect. I went ahead and I decided to redo my eBay page since I am intending on getting out of it eventually I went ahead and I took down the major majority of my items I had close to 300 items on there and I took down the majority of my stuff and um, I have a like a few things on auction and some buy it nows 
and make offers. And you know, when I do the make offers, people don't really rarely make offers unless I see that they are on that page and, um, and it gives me an option to make, uh, to offer something to them. But a lot of times they don't grab it. I started listing all of the engineering devices and textbooks and things and I know that there's a double E out there, or like a technical person or somebody that will eventually buy that stuff. And the books and stuff are expensive and the hardware and software, um, you know, are going to definitely go. So I know I can get some decent money for them. I'm going to have customers pay for their shipping. Um, and some of that stuff is a little bit heavy. So I'll probably go down on the price for the item because of the shipping cost to help save a little bit of money. Because it feels like we are a little bit... Um, Everybody seems like they're a little hard up for money. Well, I don't even want to use that word, but I just did. So I, I went around the entire circle and neighborhood and I didn't find the, find the yard sale. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, continue my journey, uh, see if I can find a, another location. So bear with me, I see another sign. Let's see where this one points me to. Lolly, what is that? It's not a yard sale. What is it? Ooh, I got signage everywhere. Yard sale, yard sale. What the heck is going on there? Oh, it's like church. Okay, this one has better signs. So, yeah. Okay, where's the arrow? I'm seeing it. I'm seeing the arrow, but I don't know which way to go. Um, there it is. Hot dog. Okay, so let me turn around and I shall go take a look at Rooney and see what I can find. Not a lot of people. They have a. They might have a scale there. Uh, but let's see. Linens, a dollar each. Yoga shoes. Don't know how much they want. Okay. Oh, I don't really do shoes. Two dollars a piece. Okay. 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 Okay.
those CDs. All right, uh, so I went ahead and I went to this one yard sale and I think I'm gonna call it a day because I'm not feeling too good, but I just wanna let you know in total I spent $8. So I thought this was like awesome. And this might not be something I sell because it's very unique and I've never seen one before. I might just hold on to this for myself. Another thing I found were these little hors d'oeuvre plates. And I love, I don't drink a lot. <laughs> they are a little crazed, but I love them. I think they're really cute. And anything, usually barware, I like barware, anything with olives and martini glasses. So for two bucks, they're not too bad. They don't have any chips, but they do have crazing. So this might not be something that I will list online. It is just going to be something for myself. Um, another thing I saw, uh, there was a big round hat box full of CDs. I asked him how much he wanted for all the CDs together, and he said he would sell them for $15 for the entire box. But then he had a little CD holder that had CDs in it as well, and I asked him how much for that, and he said it would be 50 cents for each of them. So it would have just been about the same as the hat box. So if I kept my mouth shut, and that's all I wanted, I probably could have got that hat box and made a killing on those CDs. This is a purse. This purse is made out of keys from like a, a keyboard. And this is fascinating. So I don't know, I, I don't know if it, it looks like it was handmade. It's, uh, it's just very unique, very cool. It does happen to have a tag in it. It's chick to chick. And this one I will probably list. And then I got this for 50 cents. And this for 50 cents. You can never go wrong with cookbooks. And then I found a water pick for a dollar. And I, I did try it. It does work. I, I tested it out. <laughs> and um, these people that I purchased from, they look like they've traveled across the world and overseas quite a bit, Italy and Africa and a few places. And so I got all this for $8 and uh, that's my short yard sale video for the day. I hope you enjoy it, uh, your weekend, and go hit those yard sales and find yourself something really cool. I think my hands down favorite is the, the purse, but then this, this lion container container canister container jar and lid I think that's just beautiful I love that so thanks for tuning in to Bullwhip I hope you have an awesome day